everybody, that's enough. I think we have all made our point. We're all very valuable and whatever. Oh, good. Maybe you're finally starting to understand and appreciate what I do around here. What? Complain? Keep it down in there. How long do we have to stay? No big drinks at the movies. Oh, we're doing each other now? Hey, everybody, it's time for some forced family fun. Let's dance. I can't believe you. After all these years of trying to get you to dance, you're doing it now? Don't you dare dance to spite me. Oh, I'm Axel. I invent dumb things but think I'm smart. Well, at least I'm not weird like Brick. Whoop, whoop. French horn. French horn. Are we imitating people? I'm Sue. I just love America so much. I also love Germany, but now not the way it used to be. Hey, guys, I'm Mom. Join me. Then I'm going to invite Nancy to come over, and we're going to talk too loud while other people are trying to watch football. Uh, yeah. hey, I'm going to throw it to anybody else. I'm throwing it out. It's a family. <gasps> Grandma's in the hospital. Oh, I'm Mom. I say things like Grandma's in the hospital. Ooh, wait. Well. We've been thinking, and we've come up with some ideas, you know, for changes and stuff. Well, good, good. Yeah, I've been doing that, too. We think we might need to change her food. You know, their dietary needs do change as they get older. She's not a dog. Or maybe a multivitamin or something. She might need more iron. That's it? That's what you came up with? That it's your mom's fault? No. We do have another theory. How are things going in the boudoir, Dad? You getting the job done in there? Wow, the old man moves pretty fast. At least until he's the new cast member on SNL. Oh, he really is good. He does a spot on George the Security Guard. Mall's closing in 10 minutes. <laughs> well, you have to be there. Do I have to be here? No, Brick's right. Everyone left it up to us. All in favor of Sue quitting, raise your hand. Mm. The people have spoken, Sue is out. Uh, you can't do that. I can't, and I did. That doesn't make any sense. Your face doesn't make any sense. Oh, shut up. Shut up, your stupid it's mouth. All right, that's enough. Why is it every time you people get in the car, you have to start fighting? We don't always fight. Yes, we do. No, we don't. I'm pretty sure we do. Remember last time when I put my foot in your face? Uh, or was it the other foot? Oh, or maybe it wasn't feet. Maybe it was my butt. Don't. Oh, don't. oh you like that? Oh, my God, fine. You want a butt in the face? How about I put my butt in your face, huh? Hello? Feel free to jump in with some parenting. All right, stop it. Stop it. Put your butts in your seats. Your dad can't drive with all this racket. If dad... Hey, beautiful. You're a real hot lady. You make me feel... stuff. Are you hungry? Perhaps my parents can buy you a sandwich. And if we wait a half an hour, we can go swimming. But we'll have to stay in the shallow end if I can't feel the bottom all panic. No, thanks. I'm good. Oh, don't sell yourself short, toots. You're way better than good. Oh, uh, hey, is this guy bothering you? Actually, yeah, he is. It's okay, buddy. Hit the bricks. Let the lady read her book. Uh, fine. I read that book anyway. The banker's the killer. Oh. <sighs> Sorry about that. Jerks like him give us all a bad name. Well, thank you. I'm Sarah. Axel, <laughs> so, uh, you like books, huh? Oh, good, you're still alive. What are you doing? Well, this might sound a little crazy, but, uh, I never turned in this English paper, and it cost me an A in your class, so... I'm sorry, in case you hadn't noticed, now is not a good time. Uh, look, Mrs. Colavita, I've never got an A on a report card that wasn't P.E., ever. If I could do this, it could be a turning point in my life. So if you could just sign a form or something saying I turned the paper in, I can... Not so fast. In order for me to give you an A in the class, you need to get an A on this paper. Now, you handed it in six years late, so I should probably deduct a point a year seems fair, so you're down to 94. Missed comma, 93. Incomplete sentence, 92. No paragraph indent. Well, you misspelled there. Oh, Axel, you're in high school now. Have you finally learned the different spellings of there, there, and there? <laughs> I can almost guarantee it. Great. I really enjoyed seeing all the fire trucks there. Spell there. T H E I. No, that's not right. T H E. Why? 
Yeah, am I saying that when I know it's wrong? <laughs> Is it one of those silent letters like in Psycho? Uh, P T H E. was found dead Sunday afternoon in her home at 427 Birchwood Avenue. It's here in the Orson Herald, March 17th, 1969. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, read it to me. I don't have my glasses. The body of Claudia Rose Tucker, age 40. Oh, she was so young. And how sad is it that I said 40 was so young? Go on was found March 16th by her husband, who called for an ambulance when she was found unresponsive in her bathtub. Ew! Not my bathtub! Oh, why couldn't it be the laundry room? I already hate it in there. She is survived by her husband, Henry, and sister, Sylvia Hammond. The county coroner will conduct a full autopsy and... Oh, my God! What? What? They put an apostrophe S in paramedics! That's not possessive, that's plural! Who was proofing the Herald back then? You know what, Mike? Found it. What? It says here she died March 18th, not the 16th. Aha. So that means... Wait, what does that mean again? Maybe the husband fudged the date for insurance purposes? Maybe he needed a couple extra days to draft a fake will. Or maybe he... Rick. Uh, Mom? Come here. What? What? Henry August Tucker, 1927 to 2002. That's Claudia's husband. It's weird. Why isn't he buried next to his wife? But he is. Oh. Henry Tucker got remarried. Do you think that Henry murdered Claudia so he could marry someone else? Uh, yeah. Looks like bodies aren't the only ones who can be replaced. Sylvia Hammond Tucker. That sounds familiar. That's the name of Claudia's sister. And look, there's no death date. She's still alive. Ah! Oh, wait, that's OK. Excuse me, can we have a word with you, gentlemen? Sure. We would have talked to you earlier, but we didn't want to disrupt your rehearsal. Practice. Which one of you is captain of this company? Team. He meant team. Look, we know you stole our mascot head. So the joke is over. We want it back. Oh, no, you lost your head. I guess it's true what they say about how the body still runs around without its head. See you Friday night, losers. That's it. There's only one way to settle this. No, Brad! Dance fight. Five, six, seven, eight. Who punches a guy while he's on his tippy toes? That's not how a dance fight works. I mean, seriously, where did that guy go to summer camp? Uh, I know. I didn't even get to do my pot of rain. Oh. Don't worry, we're not having people over. Can one of you take me to the library? Rick, do you not even notice what they did? Oh, weird. So, can one of you take me to the library? I feel like reading about Peru. No, Brick, sorry, can't. Actually, won't. <laughs> I just got home from work, and I am going to eat my pizza for once while it's still hot. That is really annoying. If you're really dying to find out about Peru, look it up online. But I like books. I like the feel of paper in my hands. Well, I like the feel of pizza in my hand, so nobody's taking you anywhere right now. Yep, it was a strange new world. And Brick knew if he had a hope of surviving in it, he was going to have to adapt. P-E-R-U. A 
Nigerian prince desperately needs our help. There's a coup and he needs our bank account information in order to transfer millions of dollars out of his country and in exchange for our help, he'll give us $3,000. Hurry, the bank closes in half an hour. It's a scam, Brick. Not everything on the internet is true. So there's not beautiful singles in my area dying to meet me? I have to update my blog. Brick! Huh? Brick, what are you doing? You have school. I woke up in the middle of the night and you won't let me in your bed, so I came in here to look up Native Americans, which linked me to the Albuquerque Balloon Festival, which linked me to stars, which linked me to Us Magazine, and it took me all night to finish clicking on who wore it best. Well, that's just great. You missed the bus. I voted for Ashley Tisdale, but now I'm second-guessing myself. I should make up a new username and vote for Scarlett Johansson instead. It's hard because they both wore it well. Scarlett Johansson. I'll meet you in the car. Uh-uh. Brick, bed. Okay, hold on. I'm just bidding on a speedboat. I think I'm gonna get it. Did you guys know that you can find anything on the internet? And I mean anything. Like what exactly? Like, I looked up Moby Dick, the hard edition. Oh, you didn't. And you can't believe what came up. Oh, I'm afraid we can. All these first editions and stuff. It's all right there on rareprintbooks.com. Oh, oh see? <laughs> That's you, what the internet Rick. is for, it's books. <laughs> oh, and then I met some guy online who wants to meet me at the park. Maybe we should have taken him to the library. Violet Hornberger, would you do me the honor of accompanying me to prom? No.